In a noteworthy development, CEO of Medico Adrian Tricani has been promoted to SVP at parent company Ripple, raising the question, has Ripple become intertwined with Medico, among others? By the way, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse has reiterated the company's pledge to financially support pro-crypto politicians in the U.S. election cycle of 2024. In addition, after several drops, the price of XRP has finally bottomed out about Bitcoin. Does this indicate that a spike is on the horizon? Ultimately, for years, the prices of Stellar and XRP have gone in the same direction, leaving everyone perplexed at the same time. I'll be revealing the potential cause of the link between XRP and XLM. For $250 million, blockchain startup Ripple purchased Medico in May. Entangled at the time, Medico thought both businesses would run separately, even though Ripple had taken on the role of the startup's only distributor. According to a formal announcement of the acquisition, Adrian Tricani, the founder and CEO of Medico, will continue to run the company as an independent brand and entity. It seems that the operational policy has changed now that seven months have passed. Adrian Trekabeans has been named Senior Vice President of Product at Ripple after the astute XRP enthusiast and ex-user Radhoff Kahneman first caught his attention. The information was revealed in a recent post by Ripple that included forecasts for the cryptocurrency market. Does this mean that Medico and Ripple are now connected? The most recent finding, albeit unconfirmed as of yet, points to a minor modification in Ripple and Medico's operational guidelines. Given that Ripple is the only shareholder in Medico, such a result would not be wholly unexpected. But what this means for Ripple and XRP, in particular blockchain technology and cryptocurrency custody, has frequently been mentioned as potential avenues for Ripple to attract major businesses and integrate its payment network. Even though nothing has happened in that regard, the tight staff sharing could lead to that kind of situation. Another theory is that Ripple may eventually rely heavily on cryptocurrency custody as a source of income, causing the business to focus less on its XRP-based primary payment network. Despite the lack of evidence to support it, some XRP supporters contend that the prospect of such an event is unfavorable for XRP holders. Whether Ripple will divulge more information about its other operating policies about Medico and prospective acquisitions is still up in the air. Both businesses are still working to advance Ripple's general objectives in the interim, assisting in the ecosystem's expansion within the project. Kindly remember to subscribe to our channel and also press the notification button to be the first to know about additional developments about XRP. The post that Brad Garlinghouse published on XXRP, the post that Brad Garlinghouse shared on X serves as a much-needed boost to the leaders in the crypto ecosystem who are continuously trying to raise money to support lawmakers who can help bring about reasonable legislation in the nation. Comes as a much-needed boost to the leaders in the cryptocurrency ecosystem's continuous efforts to gather money to support legislators who can help bring about reasonable legislation in the nation. While some prominent figures in the cryptocurrency space have backed prior election cycles, individualized funding sources, such as those connected to FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried, were necessary to counteract legal and social opposition. This alliance of significant industries, headed by Giant, is more open because they share the goal of saving the developing blockchain world. Brad Garlinghouse claims that to keep the U.S. from relegating itself to a supporting role in international affairs, action must be taken to unite with a financial goal in mind. He underlined that changes must be made since the Securities and Exchange Commission's regulatory overreach is actively moving the U.S. in the wrong direction. The SEC has had a busy year, to say the least. The regulator began enforcing its rules against Kraken early this year after learning that the company was providing its staking service as an unregistered security. The Gary Gensler-led commission did not let the $30 million settlement at the time stop them from suing the trading platform again a few weeks ago. This year, the agencies and Ripple's dispute also grew more intense. As the lawsuit draws to a close, both sides have achieved different outcomes. However, Larson Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, two of Ripple's executives, have been cleared of any wrongdoing. The court found the company guilty of misrepresenting XRP to institutional investors as a security. 
In light of these changes, Garlinghouse thinks the blockchain community needs to produce forward-thinking leaders who will promote innovative paths towards responsible regulation. The funds received by this campaign are intended to support political politicians who support cryptocurrencies and politics. The amount has exceeded $78 million. Politico notes that this action differs from the lobbying that certain cryptocurrency corporations have been doing for a while. As previously reported, cryptocurrency companies like Ripple Labs and Coinbase invest millions of dollars. Urging Washington legislators to support specific crypto topics on an annual basis. He 2024 is the time to go back. To first principles by encouraging initiatives to promote transparency, innovation, and a compliance-first approach, declared Garlinghouse, issuing a clarion cry. That's not all, though. We're seated. We are situated at the lower end of the ranges for both BTC and XRP. Range at the bottom of the XRP and BTC range, Crypto Insight UK wrote, releasing a chart that showed how much XRP had changed in value about Bitcoin over a week. The graphic clearly shows that since July, Bitcoin has largely outpaced XRP. After the critical July verdict in the Ripple v. SEC lawsuit, XRP surged by 59.2% against BTC in a single week. The XRP and BTC pair surged to a new yearly high of 0 0.00002970 on July 13th as a result of this rise. This was the last time XRP traded in September of last year. XRP did, however, ultimately plummet from its peak during the subsequent market slump. The token hasn't performed as well as Bitcoin since then. It's interesting to note that, since mid-July, over 22 weeks, XRP has lost 20 weekly versus BTC. There have only been two weekly advances for the altcoin. Since early November, when Bitcoin broke above key resistance levels and crashed, the losses have been worse while XRP has remained largely unchanged. Consequently, XRP has plummeted, representing a 52% decline from the annual high and XRP's lowest price relative to Bitcoin since March. Crypto Insight UK thinks that XRP has peaked about the original coin at current pricing. According to this claim, XRP is probably going to stop showing any more significant declines in Bitcoin. The expert believes that a price reversal may be approaching. The weekly RSI of the Bitcoin and XRP charts, among other things, has an impact on this mood. Notably, at the time of the telecast, the RSI fell to 35.9. This number implies that XRP is beginning to show signs of entering an oversold situation and that a price reversal is likely to occur soon. According to Crypto Insight UK, an 88.1% increase in XRP relative to Bitcoin could occur during this price reversal. At the current $43,000 price of Bitcoin, XRP would be worth $1.19 about the dollar. It is unlikely that Bitcoin will stay unchanged in the $43,000 range, though. He predicts that if XRP breaks above the box, its price might rise by an additional 1,500% above Bitcoin. It's important to note that during the past 24 hours, Bitcoin has increased by 2.28%, whereas XRP has only increased by 0.93%. Market observers like Crypto Insight UK, meanwhile, are still positive about XRP's future rise, as evidenced by the bull run of 2018. Let's get started with today's major topic, why for years, why have the values of XRP and XLM moved in tandem? Have the values of XRP and XLM moved in tandem for years? Kindly remember to subscribe to our channel. Then press the notification button to be the first to know when there are updates. Regarding the most recent events concerning XRP, Schwartz talked about his opinions on X in response to Mr. Huber's statement, a well-known figure in the XRP community. The person's initial objective was to refute claims made by escrow that Ripple's monthly XRP escrow releases were stopping significant price increases in XRP. Mr. Huber emphasized that XLM's price swings are comparable to those of XRP to refute these assertions. He questioned, how precisely do the proponents of Ripple dumping explain XLM's performance? 
the CTO of Ripple then revealed a chart monitoring XLMs and XRP's performances to provide Mr. Huber's argument with more context. An influential member of the XRP community wanted to know why both assets movements kept mirroring one another. Schwartz responded by offering his thoughts on the different variables that might affect this price action coordination. He expressed that there are other forces at play and acknowledged the complexity of the situation making it difficult to identify the true causes of the correlation. Digital assets, in his opinion, typically show a strong association. He explained this phenomenon by saying that the market is still trying to figure out what these tokens will be used for in the future in light of changing industry trends. Schwartz went on to emphasize how the larger cryptocurrency economy is interconnected. Because of this sensitivity to changes in the sector, modifications to one asset may have unintended consequences for the entire market. Although there is conjecture on the correlation, Bitcoin is connected to all tokens that come after it because of liquidity issues. Schwartz doesn't think so. He questioned the notion that Bitcoin's actions alone determine the course of all other assets, arguing that there aren't many strong arguments for these assets to follow Bitcoin's path. Schwartz put forth a thought-provoking viewpoint. He proposed that market participants' perception of these assets' need for comparable circumstances to succeed or fail may be partially responsible for the link between XRP and XLM. The perception surrounding XRP and XLM has a spillover effect on each other, which strengthens the association between the two. The trend indicates a comparable market with similar players, comparable investments, and comparable market developments. Certain community members proposed that the price correlation might originate from an algorithm built into XLM that enables it to track the price of XRP. In response, Schwartz stated that, although there are other reasonable theories, he doesn't think they are very likely. Denying the Possibility of Manipulation now, please share your opinions with me in the comments section. Verify that you enjoy the video, and don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe. This is a huge assistance for the YouTube algorithm. You can also aid in enlightening through spreading the word about this film to as many people as you can, others have gained insight, just like you have. Guys, let's spread this message far and wide. Don't miss any of our content if you truly love cryptocurrencies. We'll chat about the newest news that affects our community as a whole tomorrow.